we'll show you how to use a speculum, a bivalve Cusco speculum, which will expose the cervix. This is essential if you want to take cervical smears and examine the cervix properly. We'll show you then how to do a bimandual examination. This allows you in turn to assess the size and consistency of the uterus, the tubes and ovaries, and the cervix. This leads to the diagnosis of much gynecological disease. Lastly, we will show you how to use a sim speculum. This is one that pulls back the back wall of the vagina, allowing you to examine carefully the front wall and the cervix. This is an essential examination when assessing prolapse. Building up a rapport with a woman, helping her feel relaxed and comfortable throughout the gynaecological consultation, starts as she walks into the consulting room and continues as you take the history. Inspect the abdomen for any obvious abnormalities or masses and after inquiring whether any areas are tender, gentle and then deep palpation is performed. Constantly check the woman's face in case any tenderness is elicited. The examining hand works through the nine sectors of the abdomen starting in the left iliac region, onto the left lumbar region and the left hypochondrium. We advise you to use the stretch rubber gloves that are pre-talked. These will be easiest to put on and provide you with adequate protection from infection. The speculums will be found in a tray of speculum warmer. The patient's history will guide you to the choice of size of speculum. If she's postmenopausal, a small speculum should be selected. If there is difficulty in opening the speculum, it is likely you have pushed the speculum either too anterior or too posterior to the cervix. The fixative for the slide is immediately added and the slide placed horizontally for it to dry. Any delay will render the cervical smear uninterpretable.